So we are continuing on with our numerical calculations in psychrometrics, and let me remind you where we've come from. We started with the dry bulb temperature, wet bulb temperature, and the total pressure. And we started with the wet bulb temperature, and we've gone through this procedure thus far. We calculated the saturation pressure of water vapor at that wet bulb temperature. We found the corresponding saturation humidity ratio at that temperature and then we found the actual humidity ratio for this set of conditions and we are headed off to further parameters and relative humidity and specific volume and other items like this density air density and but before we do that what I want to do in this video is cover a new humidity parameter that we haven't discussed yet and that's something called the degree of saturation. So let me remind you, we already had relative humidity, and we define that as the mass of the vapor divided by the mass of the vapor if we were at a saturation condition where both of these are related to the same temperature and pressure. That's an important point. This can also be stated as being equal to the mole fraction of water divided by the mole fraction of water under saturation, under the same temperature and pressure. These two things are equivalent. And even another way would be in terms of pressures. The partial pressure of the vapor over the partial pressure of vapor at saturation given that the temperature and the total pressure in both these conditions is the same. So we have this level of, or this idea of humidity, but there's also one more, and that's the degree of saturation, which people have used the symbol mu, and that will be the omega divided by the omega at saturation given the same temperature and total pressure for this case. Now the only difference between this having the omega is that if you remember the omega term when we talk about its relationship to partial pressures it has this 0.622 term related to it where we have 0.622 partial pressure of the vapor over the partial pressure of everything else that's not the vapor. And that's this is the relative magnitude of molecular weights of the water and the dry air. Now what we want is some relationship between mu, phi, and our omega saturation. With, this is going to be useful to us if we had a relationship for these parameters. And so what I'm going to do is combine this equation, this equation, and what any of these will work, but we'll, we'll start with pressures. And we're going to get a relationship, and we're going to solve for the degree of saturation in terms of relative humidity and the <coughs> humidity ratio at saturation. So. This is in the ASHRAE fundamentals. They glaze over actually how this is done. They just say they combine the equations. And it's a useful exercise to actually go through the algebra to do this. So let's begin with the humidity ratio. And let's actually get rid of this partial pressure of dry air and replace it with the total pressure. So if I take omega, this is equivalent to 0.622, the partial pressure of the vapor divided by the total pressure minus the partial pressure of the vapor. And we'll also need this same equation at saturation. So we'll do this for the terms at saturation. And again, it's important that we're going to do this at the same total pressure. And so what you'll note is that the partial pressure of dry air is actually different in both these cases. 
it's it actually goes down in the one case when the partial pressure saturation has been increased in this in this saturation case. Now what I'm going to do is solve for the total pressure because I'm going to want to remove that from these equations. So if I move this to the other side and multiply it by omega, I'm going to get total pressure times omega minus partial pressure times omega equals 0 0.622 PV. And now if I bring this term to the other side and divide by omega, I would get the total pressure is equal to, we'll have a PV term times 0 0.622 plus omega all over omega. So I hope you saw that. And I hope it's not too much of a stretch to know that this is going to be exactly the same thing, except we're going to have the items at saturation. Now I'm going to make a, a cool little switch here. I'm going to take this term and move this to the bottom. I'm going to take this omega here and move it to the top. And what you'll notice is that we're going to have a, well, let me write this out so it's crystal clear. We'll have PV over PV sat. I hope you see where that is going. Times 0.622 plus omega is equal to should have did this in proper color coding. So I just moved, just exchanged those two terms, but now what is this? Partial pressure of vapor over the partial pressure at saturation? That is the definition of relative humidity at a given total pressure. So we can replace this with relative humidity. And what is omega over omega saturation? That is mu. That is our degree of saturation. Mu. And so this goes to mu. Now I want to get rid of this omega term, and I know that my degree of saturation is omega over omega sat, so if I want to get what is this equal to, that's degree of saturation multiplied by omega sat. So let's do that and clean this up some. So we have relative humidity times 0 0.622 plus mu omega sat is equal to mu times 0 0.622 plus omega saturation. And at this point we already have a relationship now between the three components that we wanted. Relative humidity, degree of saturation, humidity ratio at saturation, but we're going to go ahead and we're just going to solve for mu and we'll get a final relation for that. So what I'm going to do is move this mu term over to the other side, leave the, the relative humidity times 0 0.622. I hope the algebra is not going too fast here, but I hope you understand what's happening. I'm distributing this out and I have the 0.622 here plus omega saturation and this is going to be minus on this side and what we have a minus of is the relative humidity and the omega saturation. And at this point now I can divide both sides by this whole term here and pull out a omega saturation and if I do that and I put the mu on this side on the top of the fraction I will have relative humidity times 0.622 and on the bottom I'll have 0.622 plus I'm going to pull out the omega saturation and that's it. Now you can also go ahead and divide the top and bottom by 0.622 and that would get rid of this, this, and then divide by 0 0.622. I've seen it in that form. I've seen it in the form I just derived. But at this point we've now derived 
mu as a function of relative humidity and the omega at saturation. And that'll prove to be useful to us in the next video because I have run out of time. So I hopefully that was a useful exercise in algebra to show how this formula for degree of saturation has come about in the combination of relative humidity, humidity ratio, and degree of saturation. See you in the next videos.